Hey everybody, Mike Chipperini at Chippers Island Adventures. And today I'm going to do a quick video on why a 30 amp service keeps tripping at the pedestal. Stay tuned. So hey everybody, if you're like me, occasionally I'll use too much amperage in my rig and it will trip my 30 amp surface. Now, it usually occurs when I'm running the AC and I attempt to run the microwave or maybe even a coffee maker. It just draws too much amperage from the two items or three items combined. But first I wanna show you my setup. This is why it's gonna make it easier. What I have here is a Hughes Power Watchdog. And as you can see, it's lit up white, which tells me I'm protected and it's working. One of the nice things about the Hughes Power Watchdog is Hughes provides an app that you can use on your phone. So here's my app. And as you can see, let me see if I can get this out of the light. So as you can see, I am presently on line one, I got 122 volts and 3.6 amps. That's what I'm drawing. So it's telling me that I got 122 volts going in, but I'm only drawing 3.6 amps, which is nothing. Now watch what happens if I turn the microwave on. So right there, you see I'm now drawing 17.6 or 17.7 amps and that's on the microwave so I'm going to stop that and I'm going to show you now what happens if I turn on the AC so the AC just kicked on and as you can see, I am drawing right now 12.6 amps. But that's with it running. When it first fired up, see if I can do this. So right now, I'm only drawing 3.8 amps. But if my AC comes on, And as you saw, it jumped up to 27 amps for the start, and then it settles down at 13. So imagine if you were running your air conditioner and the microwave at the same time. You would exceed the 30 amps, and that is why your breaker will trip. Now mine, what it does, and I really don't want to demonstrate it, when it trips, the first thing you should do if you lose power on your rig is start from the beginning. Go out to the pole and check your surge protector. Now the nice thing about the power watchdog is it turns red. Here's what it looks like if we put the coffee maker on. Right now it's just bringing in the water. And then once it starts heating, you'll see the surge. There it is. Coffee is heating now, so it goes up to 15.2 amps. 15.1 amps. So that's using a Keurig single serve coffee maker. So I'm going to start up the microwave. Come over here and start up my AC. So that surged up to almost 30 amps. So a lot of times that would trip my circuit. I would go out to my watchdog and the watchdog would be red, which tells me that it got too much draw. Now on this particular time, it kicked up just below 30. So there wasn't enough amperage being used. 
But often enough, if you have your coffee maker going and your microwave going and then your air conditioner kicks on, it will over amperage your circuit and your watchdog will turn red while your circuit shuts down. Of course, when you're trying to replicate that happening, where you have too much amperage, where you exceed the 30 amps, it's hard to do. Right now, mine's not cooperating. But just the other day, two days ago, I was using the microwave, I was using my coffee maker, and it tripped the circuit. So I had to go out, reset the circuit, and it was just because both of them together was just too much for whatever I was doing. And it's happened where my air conditioner came on and my microwave was already going and it tripped it. But that's, I hope that explains it in a nutshell. At least with my phone app, you could see the draw. And you saw it go up to almost 27, 28 amps when the, mic, when the uh, air conditioner kicked on. So I hope that explains it. I highly recommend the Hughes Power Watchdog Surge Protection. One, because it's a really good product. And two, because it does provide an app in order to monitor your usage, how much power you're receiving, and how much power you're using. So it's a really good product. So if you like this video, feel free to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. All the best to all, and happy RVing.